In this tutorial, I'll walk you through every step I used to create this potion bottle. Let's go! Let's start off by pressing Shift A, add a mesh and add a UV sphere. Go into edit mode with tab, go into face select by pressing 3 on your keyboard. Select the top faces, go to select, select more and select more. You can also press Ctrl plus on your numpad and then press Shift R to redo your last action. Press X and delete the faces. Go into edge select mode and select the outer edge. Press E and Z to extrude it up. Like that and then press E and Z again. And then something like that. Leave edit mode, go to your modify tab and add a solidify modifier. Here we're gonna change the thickness there and I think I like 0.12 as a thickness. Then select the drop down and click apply. Go back into edit mode, go into face select and select the outer faces. Press right click and extrude faces along normals. And I think our thickness was 0.12 so let's just type 0.12 here as well. And we'll go into edge select and now we'll select some edges here. We'll select this one, this one, this one, this one, and then that one, and then press Ctrl B to bevel and scroll up twice. And we'll bevel it like that. Then we'll leave edit mode, press Ctrl 3 to subdivide and 3 to render as well. Right click. So we'll first start by adding, by creating the rope. Press Shift A, add a circle. Press G and X and move it to the side a bit. And then we'll go into top view. And then we'll try and place it there. And then press Shift D, X and 1. And press Shift D, Y and 1. And then G, X minus 0.5. So here where I have three circles, select all three of them, press Ctrl J to join them, and then press tab to go into edit mode. Go into third select, and we're gonna delete all these inner vertices. There, and then we'll delete those, and we'll delete those. Press X and delete vertices. Now we'll select these, press M, join at center. and select those and join at center. Now we can press A to select all, right click and then smooth vertices. Then we'll leave edit mode, press right click, set origin to geometry. Then we'll go add a screw modifier and then we'll increase the screw to maybe something around six. Looks pretty uh, good. And then we can increase the iterations. Um, we're going to scale this down soon. Press Ctrl 2 to add a subdivision. And then S to scale it down. Press Shift S and select Selection to Cursor. And now, I think I'm going to scale it down a tiny bit more. There we go. Now we'll go Shift A, Curve and add a circle. And then we're going to scale this circle up just a tiny bit. We'll press Shift D and Z. Go into front view. Move it to the middle there. Scale it down a little. Now we select our rope. And then we'll add a curve modifier. And then for curve object, we select our circle. And then the form axis on a Z. There we go. And now we're gonna scale down the rope a tiny bit more. There. And then we just increase our iterations on the screw modifier until they connect. And that's where they connect. So I'm gonna change it to 12 and then we're gonna increase the screw there. Now we just need to duplicate the rope. Shift D and just confirm and then we remove the curve object and then we'll change
change our curve object to that circle. Now we can decrease our iterations. And that's there. So then we can increase the screw so they connect. There we go. And we can apply our screw and we can apply our subdivision and we can apply our curve and then we'll do the same for this robe you can apply all three modifiers you can press ctrl a on the modifiers to apply them we can select our two curves and press x and delete them and we can call this sphere bottle call this one rope and then we'll call this one rope and then we'll go and create the second rope as well but first we'll create the potion so select the bottle go into edit mode go into face select look into the bottle from the top and select the middle here then we'll go into select select more and select more shift r to increase we'll go in toggle x-ray by pressing z and toggle x-ray and then we'll go shift r there then we'll press shift d to duplicate it right click and then press p to separate it and separate it by selection now we can leave edit mode and then we'll take our potion and we'll call it potion and then we'll go back into edit mode and we'll select the outer ring and then we'll go to face and then we'll grid fill right click and subdivide once and then you can press ctrl i to invert your selection and then press h to hide now go into third select select proportional editing and then we'll move some of these thirds up and down to create a bit of a liquid effect so we'll move that down just like that and then you can press alt h to unhide the rest and that's it then we can toggle off x-ray and then we'll go into front view and then here you can see that it kind of looks bad because this is where they connect so we'll can just rotate it I'll press r and z rotate it to the back of the piece and then the same of that rope then we'll go back into front view press select this big rope press r and y and then we'll press minus 30 and then we can duplicate it by alt d and then press r y 60 and then we can press s and y and scale it up a bit in the y axis and we'll scale this one down a tiny bit in the y-axis now we'll make the cork so we'll select the bottle go into edit mode choose edge select and select the inner edge here Press shift d and z to move it up p to separate it separate by selection now we can select our new element call it cork move it down into the bottle go into edit mode Press third select press a and fill then e to extrude and then we'll extrude it up and we can remove our subdivision modifier and then we can also remove um, proportional editing and then we'll scale it up like that and then move it down a tiny bit and scale it down so it actually fits in the bottle there maybe like that and then we'll select the top face but with face select press r and y and just rotate it and then r and x and rotate it like that and we'll press i to inset we'll choose vert select and then we'll make some bevels here so select the vert press ctrl b and then a v and then scroll all the way down so you have just a bevel like this press G twice to move it along the edge and then go into face select press X and F 
and then in edge select select these two edges fill with f and there we go and then we can make another one here maybe press ctrl b v and like that press x and f to delete the face go into edge select select and f to fill okay and then we'll add a bevel modifier uh, make it four segments and then we'll decrease it to 0 0.01 add a subdivision modifier by pressing ctrl 2 right click shade auto smooth okay and then we'll go into front view and then we'll add our camera so press shift a add a camera go into camera view press g and z twice move the camera back and then go into your output settings change the resolution to 1920 by 1920 and we'll move the camera up and then r and x twice and then we'll rotate it and move it up a bit more now we can select our whole object the whole bottle and then we'll press r z 30 like that and then we'll select our potion and then press r y 40 minus and then select everything again and then r y 40 just like that and then now we can move our camera a bit down and a bit to the right so looks like our bottle is centered a bit more just like that and then we'll add a background so what we'll shift a add a plane move it down scale it up go into edge select and extrude with e then select this edge here press ctrl b to bevel and increase the bevels and then leave edit mode and then shade smooth so now we can go into camera mode and then we'll start adding some lights first we'll change our render engine to cycles device to gp compute and we'll change our samples to 128 let's make it 512 for the render color management will change just the look to medium high contrast and then we can press z and we'll go into rendered view okay and then we'll start adding some lights um, we'll start by adding an area light and then move it up by pressing g and z and then we'll go into our light settings we'll change the power to 300 shape to disc and we'll change the size to 2. i also want to give it a slight pink color so we go into color and we'll give it a hex code f f d a f d there we go and i don't like the shadow it's casting so select the background and i'm going to move it down and then i need to scale it up a bit there we go and then we'll press period and we'll change our pivot point to 3d cursor we select our area light press shift d r x 45 r z 45 and then we move it back just like that and then we'll press shift d r z 90 minus and then g and z twice and move that back more there we go then i want to go and add a backlight as well so we'll add a shift a light area g and y move it back g and z r x 45 and then we're going to aim this on the background and we'll change the power to something big 750 shape to disc size to 2 and then we'll move it closer by pressing g and y and then we'll go into camera mode to see how it looks and there we go i think we can decrease the power maybe to 500 and then i'm gonna move this up a tiny bit and we'll just back a tiny bit. okay let's start with some materials we'll start with the background we'll add a new material just gonna have a base color of ffb 386 and now we can also see what our 
light here in the back is doing a bit better. So we can just move that around. That looks pretty good. Okay, we'll start giving the glass its material. Call it glass and then we'll change the surface to glass BSDF. We'll give it a nice pink color, FFD, EEB. Roughness to 0 0.01. There we go. Then we'll give our rope its color. So we'll select the rope and a new material. Call it rope. And then we'll give it the color E78A66. And then we'll select this rope as well. Shift click the other rope. Press Ctrl M to link the materials. Then we have the cork, which will give a new material. Call it cork. Change the base color to B64C2F. Press enter. And then I want to change the roughness here to 0.8. And then we have the potion, um, which is a bit more work. So we'll add a new material. Name it potion and use the hex code F-E-A-B-F-E. Then we want to change the roughness of the potion to 0 0.01. We want to change the IOR to 1.3. Transmission to 1. And then we're going to give it an emission. Our color is F536FF. And then the emission strength. You can play around with this. Um, three looks pretty good. Maybe even five. Yeah, five looks pretty cool. Um, then here you can see in my render that the pink is really like bright here. That means that it's cut over the glass material. So if we just move it up a tiny bit, you won't notice it in the render, but it looks much, much better. And then we'll give our world a color as well. And we'll go into the world settings here. Go to color. Give it a color AD3C9F. And there we go. And then all we have to do is render our image. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If anything was unclear or you have any other questions or requests, please let me know in the comment section. If you decide to post your artwork on Instagram, please tag me in it since I'd love to see your work. If you found this tutorial helpful, consider supporting the channel by subscribing and liking the video. And remember, the more you practice, the better your 3D skills will become. Play around with the things you learn. Thank you for watching and good luck.